everyone, it's Brett again and welcome back. As I ended the last video, we were building out our Shopify store. So we're going to continue on through. And what I did was I essentially went back in and I built out some more products in all of these categories. So if we click on essential oil, for example, this is where we had uploaded all of our essential oil products. If you click on any of these, it's going to take you to the product page and it's going to give you everything you need on the store. So here's the images of the product. Here's some basic kind of information that's pulling from AliExpress. And then of course, if we go to other categories like fitness bottles, I went ahead and added five here. If we go to incense, did the same thing. I added another five products. Once again, I changed all the titles. Um, I put my brand name in front of them. I think that's kind of a nice move is to just call everything your product. Um, obviously, these are dropship products, but it's nice to see your name in front of it. It gives the customer a little bit more of an idea that, hey, um, you're selling this product. This is from Aria exclusively. Click on the leggings quick. Also added some leggings. So it looks like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six products here. It looks like eight would probably be the best, you know, just to fill up a page and look. Because if we go to essential oil, I think it looks a lot cleaner having a full line of products like this. So eight, eight products looks really good in design. Um, but I want to show you that we've got the products uploaded and you should continue to do those. Um, so that's the website as is right now. We still have only one collection showing up here. Uh, we have this image with text. We've got this big slide image. So there's other pieces that we want to build in our website. So once you've loaded up your products, let's head back over here to the dashboard. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to our online store. Actually, pages. We should probably add, we should definitely add a page here. Um, most customers want to see an about page and also a contact page. Let's go ahead and do both of those now. Let's do a contact us. And then what you'll want to do for a contact us page, make sure to go down here and actually call it page contact. This will actually generate a contact page for you. That'll work with Shopify. So go ahead and save that. And let's just see what that looks like here. Let's view it on our online store. So now we have a nice contact page. Um, we don't have it in the navigation yet, but this works automatically through Shopify's uh, built-in contact system. So it's a good thing to have an area for your customers to contact you. Um, all authoritative, credible websites have a contact page. So go ahead and create that. And then let's also create an About Us page. So we hit the Add Page button. Let's do an about us. And you know what? I have a document that I just wrote up really quick here. And I can provide this too, but really, um, it's an about page. Don't go crazy with it. Just add a little bit about you, um, about Aria Mindfulness. Let's see, we've been offering health and wellness products for your mind, body, and soul. We manufacture a wide variety of wellness products, saving our customers 50 to 70% off retail prices. Um, any questions, you can reach out to us here. Let's go ahead and that's going to be visible and we're going to leave the page here as is and we're just going to hit the save button. And now what we want to do since we just added two pages, let's do this now. Let's go over to our navigation and then we'll want to go to our main menu and let's add those new menu items. So come down here, let's go to pages, let's do about us with a link, add it, add one more menu item, pages, contact us, add that. So we've got all of our collections, we've got a home, we've got our collections here, about us and contact us, hit save. Now it's starting to look like a, a filled out website. So if we come over here and we preview again, You can see we've got home, essential oil, fitness bottles, incense leggings, about us, contact us. Now, one of these things is I'm on a smaller screen, so you can see these push over. Um, it doesn't aesthetically look that pleasing. If you went on a bigger monitor, it wouldn't do that. So it's always important that 
when we're building this out that we try to keep you know kind of a nice look on our website at least it's going to be mobile friendly so i wouldn't worry too much about the aesthetic look of this on a smaller monitor it's going to look different on a bigger desktop display it's going to look different on mobile so you know if you start adding a lot of categories there are options for mega menus and things like that that you can add a more organized structure but for our purposes um, it's going to show up well on mobile and desktop it's going to function well so don't worry about it too much at this time let's go into let's actually look at let's go to our pages again here and i want to start filling out this home page so let's actually you know what let's go home got that ad oh you know what we need to go to themes sorry about that guys let's go to online store let's go to themes and then here, we're gonna to wanna to click on customize. So whenever you wanna change your, your kind of page look all the way down or your product pages, we can always go to the customize from your theme action. So we've got this up here. We've got our, um, our banner here. Let me just click this again. Featured collection. So it looks like we have three products per row and then we have two rows and it looks like the collection that it's pulling in for our featured is the home page let's go ahead and change this and let's add essential oil okay so now it's going to show a lot more products and really fill out this home page and then Let's just hit select for now. It's going to have feature collection. Instead of this essential oil collection, we'll do that. Now you can change it on uh, three products per row. You can go four products per row. I would recommend keeping it nice and, and kind of clean depending on how many products you have. This looks really nice. Um, if we want to, let's go ahead and hit the save button here. And then we'll click out of this again. You can add, you know what? I think we can add more styles. Let's see if we can go down here. You can have a show product vendors, don't do that. You can say a show view all button. So at the bottom it'll say view all and it'll take you to the category page. Um, up to you if you wanna do that. I think I'll just do that. It already is showing all, so it's not a big deal. Um, this is where we can do it. So we can add a section. And when you add a section, that is a featured collection section. So we could actually add another featured collection right here. Let's go ahead and add that. And now if we go, let's go back and you can see that featured collection is here. If we wanna get really filled out on our homepage and make it look nicer with maybe a couple of different collections, as you can see now we have the essential oil collection, then we have the featured collection, which we haven't filled up with products yet. I would go ahead and go to this first collection here and we've got two rows and three products. Let's just go ahead and make it four and then let's take this row down to one and let's go ahead and save that. Now, if we come out again and we go to that second featured collection and we select the collection and let's do, let's do leggings, select that. And then let's do the same thing. Let's make it four products per row and only make it one row. And then we can do a view all button if we want to. And now we hit save. Now we'll come back out and if we scroll through right now, you can see we've got this featured essential oil collection and then we've got these featured leggings and then we've got this cool like featured image with text. Let's just click on that. Let's go to our free images. Good vibes. Oh, that looks interesting. Let's add that. 
And then for your images, you can put, let's see, alignment left is good, image with text. What I would recommend doing is when we build this out and we actually have a featured product, we'd put our featured product here. But for now, we're just building a nice clean store where it says image with text. Let's go ahead and change that and just say mind, body, soul. And then let's say we want to take them to um, fitness bottles because they're not on here. Pair your workouts. Just write something very simple. You don't have to be a professional copywriter. Just want it to look nice and clean. Shop. Shop fitness bottles now. Let's go to collections, fitness bottles. And now you can see we've got a nice call to action here and we have a beautiful image. Let's just go ahead and save. It's really easy to add sections to a Shopify store. Um, as you can see from this homepage here, there's this big image slide and you can, you can add more images if you want. But if you wanna get rid of something, you can just simply click on it and then just hit remove section. So we're just gonna remove that section for now. And then we're gonna hit save. And now let's come out to our main Shopify page again, and let's do a little preview of our store so we can see what it looks like up until now. As you can see, we've got featured essential oil collection with a view all. If they click on this link, it's going to take them to the essential oils. If they click here, it's gonna take them home or the back button. And then we also have this really nice featured collection of, it looks like leggings. You do the same thing. If you hit view all, you're gonna see that collection of leggings. And if you jump into one of these, you're gonna see a nice product page that's got the title, price and add to cart button. It's got some sizing here that pulled in. Let's go back to the home page again. And this one says featured collection. This one said featured essential oil collection. We'll probably wanna go in here and adjust this. Um, I actually don't like these view all buttons that much, so I'm probably going to remove them because it looks like too much white space to me. Um, we have this nice kind of mood image here where you can shop fitness bottles and it's going to take you here. So we've got kind of a look of a real legitimate official kind of website. If you come down to the bottom, we have a privacy policy, refund policy, terms of service. Like I said, we added an about us page. If you click the about us page now. Definitely would want, want to adjust this a little bit. You can um, manipulate, you can make colors bold, you can go bigger. Definitely manipulate this a little bit to look cleaner. Let's go back out to Shopify here. The one thing, if we go back to themes and then we go to customize, We have this featured collection here that just says featured collection. We can call it anything we want to. We can type it up really cool. We can say like um, leggings. Leggings for the mindful soul. You can call it whatever you want to. Go ahead and hit save. The other thing I said, I didn't like the view all buttons, so I would unselect this, hit save, and I would do the same thing. I would come out here, and for the featured essential oils, I would uncheck the view all button and hit save. Now, I think the one thing I want to mention at this point, and I mentioned it over and over, is that we want a professional store. We don't need something that is just beautiful over the top. But if I look at this and I land on this page, this seems like a very nice, simple, um, modified website. It looks like a professional website that I would view as being credible. The one thing I will say is we can go to the theme settings here and you can change all kinds of things like colors and sales prices. I would recommend always using three or less fonts. So use these same kind of fonts throughout. And if you're going to use colors, use three or less colors as you can see here it's basically a color scale of like blue and you know what for sales price 
I really like this kind of green color. And then for body text, you know what, we can leave that. I like this kind of the primary buttons. Um, we try to match these primary buttons with, you know, let's go back up to green here. Select this color code right here and you copy it. Then when you come in here, you can paste that same color and get the same look. So you can see it's easy to edit and manipulate these, these kind of things. You see how the sales price is turned to green. You'll wanna use um, colors that are really primary with your logo. You can see the green buttons are showing up now. Uh, the one thing I'll say is that we don't have a logo here. Um, that's okay if you wanna create a logo. I think it adds another level of credibility. Um, and I'll show you how to find or how to do that free on a couple of websites. Uh, but for now, I just kind of want to show you how easy it is to construct a website, how to import products quickly and easily. You can add some of this great imagery. Um, we have a privacy policy, refund policy, terms of service. Uh, right now, everything is set up to sell. The only thing you'd have to do is add your credit card for your payment processor, and we can literally start selling these products right now. The one thing I want to show you is how this whole model works now, because we still want to drive customers through a Facebook ad to a particular product. Now, if I wanted to sell this product, for example, and I look at this page, this is not necessarily a great product page for converting. You know, we don't have any uh, timers, countdown timers. We don't have any great imagery like below it. So like we are just building the basis of a store. When we actually try to sell an individual product, we are only going to build out that product page to be really great. A typical shopper does not click around on your website like you might think something that people have talked about and they say well you want to have all of your pages professional because your customers are going to do some more shopping on your website realistically if you are sending an impulse product ad on facebook they are going to come to your store and they are going to land on that product page and they are going to make a decision they're not going to jump around on your website they're not going to look at other products they are just there for that one product experience so when we're building a shopify store in this method we want to make sure to have apps like reviews on these pages so when a customer lands on that product that you're trying to sell that's where we really build out a really clean uh, product page but we only do it for the products that we're going to sell these other ones are just here for looks they're essentially just here so when somebody lands they can say oh this is a nice professional website this looks like a legitimate company so we're not too concerned with how all of our products look in time, you can always work on them if, you, if you're kind of a perfectionist. I promise if you're a perfectionist, it's going to kill time. It's going to eat into your time doing things that don't matter. We really just want to focus on building out a really clean store. And in the next module, I'm going to show you a little bit of how we do some logo work. And then I'm also going to pick out a product and we're going to develop a product page that is specifically for running Facebook ads. So you're going to have some other app integrations that will make it look more professional. And I'm going to show you the whole process of how we go through and build out these product pages for the products that you're actually going to be promoting or selling through Facebook. That's all for this video and I'll catch you on the next one. All right, everyone, we are on day five. These are your challenge tasks. Okay, so let's add an about page and a contact page. Okay, the one thing I'll make note is that I kind of brushed over the about page a little bit in the instruction. Uh, an about page is relatively important. Okay, so if you want to add an image, you can add an image in the editor. But the reason why it's important is because once a customer actually lands on your product page, uh, I'd say 50% of the time, the next page that they're gonna look at is not another product page, it's usually an about page, or sometimes it's your contact page. So the contact page, good to go. Just had a very simple contact page, but for your about page, uh, don't be afraid if you have a little extra time and you're all caught up in the challenge, uh, make it your own, you know, make it personal, make it about your company that you wanna be building, make it about the e-commerce store you wanna build. So uh, don't feel free to add a little bit more content there, but again, if it's something that is delaying your progress don't worry about it we can always do that in time as we grow our company okay the second thing is add two to three rows of collections on the home page so I think two rows is sufficient especially since we have that image with text on the bottom of the day view theme but if you'd like to play around a little bit and see if you can fill it out with maybe four products per row 
um, go ahead and add two to three rows, okay? And then the last piece is, I showed you how to change some colors and fonts if you want. This is gonna be your first kind of opportunity besides installing like different pictures or choosing pictures to kind of get a little creative. So um, don't go too nuts with this, but for UX reasons alone, make sure that we have three or less colors, you know, so let's not use seven colors on a website and then two or less fonts, okay? When you start adding up different size fonts or you start adding up different kinds of fonts, it starts to look really messy and it definitely can turn off a customer. So those are your challenge tasks for day five. Uh, thanks so much. And if you have any questions, make sure to reach out in the Facebook group, talk amongst your peers, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.